We are live in the White Sides Group Bio Room with Professor Andrew Lee, who has noticed a mercury spill that has been left unattended without being reported. And uh, we're taking the necessary steps to rectify the situation using a proper mercury spill kit, which uh, Professor Lee is going to explain how to use right now. I haven't handled a situation like this, quite like this, before, but I'm deeply committed to uh, not only lab cleanliness, but lab safety. So, based on the instructions, the first step is to accumulate as much of the droplets of mercury into the pipette and dispose of them into this red container. Whatever I cannot collect, I will use what is described as an approximate weight equivalent of mercury zorb dashed rock onto the remains. I'll collect the mercury onto the mercury zorb rock by brushing, and then I will shovel the mixture into the waste. Sounds like a plan. Okay, okay. let's go with the pipette first. I will assume, what is this white thing for? White collecting box. It's <laughs> a white collecting box. That's what it says in the instructions. I, I wonder how much this spill kit costs. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, here are disposable gloves. Let me don the appropriate. Oh, disposable gloves. Okay. Shall I go over to the uh, to the spill and survey the scene over there? I will make one note that these disposable gloves are... They seem to be... I this in a, the kinds of people bring basketball games in Spain. They're unusually large. <laughs> we have a foam finger. Do, th do you feel that those provide added protection that your other gloves, which seem to be thicker, would not provide? I also am a little bit worried about the perforations of the holes. <laughs> Perhaps you should use a, a glove inside, like a regular glove inside of that glove. That is a good point. I will first allow my hands to dry. Okay. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, for everyone at home, Here's the white size group bio room, including a CE. That's a capillary electrophoresis instrument, and then another CE over here. It's actively collecting data as we speak. Oh, this is privileged information that you're collecting right now. Nice. And then uh, yet another CE. Wow. Do 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 do. The proper gloves have been placed on top of the secondary and tertiary containment of your hands. So the spill is very hard to see. Who knows whether you could see it with this camera angle, but it is about an inch to the right of that blue line in the center that you could see about what has been described as seven droplets of, of liquid metal. We're not certain that it's mercury. I'm going to now make an approach and move in to the sun. Okay. Step one, sucking up visible mercury with that thing. This could potentially cause more problems than it, it's good at. Is that definitely liquid as you manipulate it? It's unclear what phase this material is. There appears to be a second type of material here that may be evidence of the type of perpetrator we might be dealing with. Yes, that is, we have to mention that there, while there's a safety aspect to this procedure here, there's also a criminal investigation which we have launched. Of which I am the lead authority. We will determine, potentially, who caused this malicious accident and soiling of what common laboratory space. How is that? proceeding over there, you're sucking. These drops are rather small and... Can they, they be sucked? I think upon complete accumulation and complete agglomeration of the individual beetles of mercury, you notice that the beads are actually coalescing. They are. So they are liquid, we believe. Yes. We also, the free energy of mixing it appears to be Favorable. Do you have any words that you'd like to say to the person, the perpetrator, who caused this yes. nasty accident? My first question will be, state your name. 
and state your address. And then I will ask about their activities and whereabouts and confirming sources for the dates from May 17th to May 27th. It's a time period that spans between the group cleanup and today. I should mention that all these pretty blue diapers which have been put on this and which the spills on top of were placed on this counter on May 17th. Thereby, therefore, we know that this accident occurred I'll not after have that to date. the extraction of the mercury bead. Placing it into the white secondary collection apparatus. It appears to be sufficiently small that it cannot actually form a seal against the inner diameter of the pipette. I'll move into a second so trying to absorb the mercury with a piece of metal. The mercury is now cradled in a small square of aluminum foil. I'm going to take this entire shit. This is a family I program, no swearing. I will repeat this procedure. Has been successfully transferred. Direct contained clear! Okay, now we still, I believe, need to put the powder to collect the uh, we remnants. Care for what is the name of this powder again? The trade name for this substance is Mercury Zorb Raw. Nice. So we're Schnellen Absorption. Max Schnell with the absorption, yeah. Do we have to, is there an uh, incubation period that we have I to wait for? The instructions specified that absorption should take place in a matter of minutes. Okay. And then essentially after this procedure is complete, that the vapor pressure of the mercury is removed. Eliminating danger to those who work in this room on a daily basis. I wish I had a better tool for this. They need to provide better tools in this spill kit, which probably...